Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah Sutton and I'm an indie author of two, soon to be three, books. One is a young adult friends to lovers romance titled What Are Friends For? The second is a young adult fake relationship romance titled Out of My League. And the third is a young adult Halloween romance titled If The Room Fits. I'm gonna get that mixed up so many times. <laughs> you can find the links to order any of those books down below. The link to pre-order If The Room Fits is down below as well. And if you like a signed copy of If The Room Fits, I have an order form down there as well. All, all the links. We love it. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about book funnel. And if you guys don't know what book funnel is, it's the perfect video for you. I use book funnel to send my ARC copies to my ARC readers. And so I'm going to be showing you how I do that in today's video. This video is kind of going to be how I did my pre-order video, how I'm going to be doing an intro, a screen recording on my laptop, and then an outro. So I hope you guys don't mind that. I kind of think it's a little bit fun to play around with the screen recordings a little bit. It makes me feel a little bit more professional. We dig it. I dig it. I guess we're just gonna hop right into the video. Why not? I don't have much to say today other than um, I'm gonna be doing a brief overview on what the book funnel page looks like. I spend $10 a month on book funnel. Originally, I thought I was gonna just buy the one month. I was just gonna do it one month and then cancel the next month. But there's so many awesome things on book funnel that I ended up just keeping my subscription. I guess is that the word I want to use? Yeah, probably. Um, I ended up keeping my subscription because it's so helpful and I'm sending art copies pretty frequently as well. And I'm gifting books and I do it through there as well. And you guys will see in the video. I do want to say though, I don't think I mentioned it in the screen recording, that book funnel actually protects your um, you know, ebooks, PDFs, however you're sending your copy, it protects it. So only one person can download from the link. It's not like it can be downloaded multiple times. It's a little bit safer than just emailing somebody a PDF and hoping they don't do anything malicious with it. On BookFunnel, they can only download it once. They can't distribute it to anybody else. It's only for them. And it's like watermarked and it's beautiful and it's safe and I dig it. So before we hop into today's video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're interested in this kind of content. And don't forget to subscribe because we post writing related videos twice a week and we have live streams twice a week. So all right, without further ado, let's hop into the video. All right, so this is the book funnel landing page. Um, you can read more about book funnel here. I'll leave a link down below in case you guys want to check out the entire page um, and see all of the benefits of using book funnel. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to log in. And then it leads me to my home page and it shows me my two short stories that have been downloaded this month. So you can see I've had 18 downloads total and it shows the total downloads um, overall. So any book that's been downloaded this month will show up here. Um, if you click the books section, it shows all of the books that you actually have loaded to your book funnel page. So I have Out of My Depth and Out of My League, What Are Friends For and What Is Valentine's Day For. These two are, I think these are more for um, when I do like gift copies and um, ARC copies. Other media can include mp3 files. I don't, I've never really looked at this before. Certified mail. So this is where we're gonna go to do our ARC campaigns. You can see here that it says out of my league ARC and what are friends for ARC. This is the campaign that I've done for each ARC copy. But we're gonna do something a little bit different. We are going to, so it says a sent on and created on date status sent. I'm going to show you how this works. I forgot to mention this, but the benefit of book funnel that I have, I have the account that's $10 a month because I planned on like using it for one month and then canceling my subscription after I sent my ARC copies of What Are Friends For. However, as I like stuck around, I saw how beneficial this site actually is. So I definitely do still have my subscription for it, obviously. <laughs> With Book Funnel, you can also gift a book. So here I would say I'd want to gift out of my depth um, to somebody and then send their email, the mail subject, and then the mail, the message to the reader. This kind of is an auto-generated thing. It says copy of titles. So they're going to automatically interject the title here. They're going to automatically interject the download link. 
And they also let the people know that this is a private download link. It can only be used once and it expires in 14 days. If you scroll down more, it shows the list of people that have I have sent a gift to book to, but I'm not going to scroll because there's emails involved. <laughs> Um, promotions. So you can join a promotion and there is a romance, but right now it looks like there's only a Christmas romance, which I don't have a Christmas book. But if I wanted to join that, you'd click it. You would read the promo requirements and see that no full, only full books, no sample chapters, no suggested book covers. And then you would say join. You'd click a book you'd want to submit. You would put your name, your email, when would you share, which date would your newsletter go out. And then you can leave a note to the promoter. Integrations. Um, I don't um, do this because I have Wix. So I'm not really sure how I would be able to even integrate my subscribers. I'm, I'm, and that might be an option. I have no clue. Um, <laughs> but if you guys know, let me know. But um, if you have any of these um, newsletter kits, you can integrate your newsletter subscribers here. So... Let's say you have an, a out of my depth, right? Out of my depth requires you to opt in. So you can see right here it says opt in required. You have to put in your email to be on to be able to get the book. So if your newsletter is integrated, whenever they insert their email, I'm pretty sure it automatically integrates to your newsletter subscriber list. So it makes it so much easier for me. What I have to do is I have to go to my out of my depth. I have to go to the landing page and I have to export um, to confirm the subscribers. I don't usually do this because for the most part people who get my free short stories are actually on my newsletter list because that's the only place that it's available to them so I don't need to export but if you wanted to that's how you would do that if you are not um, integrated. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. This is the landing pages. Um, so a landing page for Anime League would look like this. Let's say link for readers. Let's click it. So this is what this landing page look like. looks like. It has the um, little tagline and has this, you know, kind of cute little line here. And then it also says where you can buy from. It's also available from two other stores. It has the blurb and it just makes it so much easier for you to click and get sent to either the books to read page which this is like an outdated books to read page so i might find a way to update that i don't think it'd be hard i think i just update it from my landing page itself yes right here this is where i would update it so it wouldn't be hard at all bundles um this is creating your own group promo it looks like i do not do this um, invite a friend. Well, you can invite friends using tokens. You can have a pen name. I have mine as Sarah Sutton. So we'll move on to settings and from here you can talk, you can not allow subscribers to opt in again if they have already downloaded the offered book. This is how you would like prevent duplicates in your CSVs and keep a cleaner list. I don't have this checked mostly because I, you know, like we talked about, I don't do the integration. I don't download the CSV. Um, so yeah, but if you want to, you can definitely can. Um, all right, let's go to the certified mail and let's click new campaign. We're decided, let's, let's set up and if the room fits arc campaign together. New campaign. So campaign name. Um, if the broom fits arc, we're going to send it in the future. Um, let's give readers two weeks to download. Um, we're going to send the campaign out next Monday. So today's the 17th. We're going to have it sent out on the 21st. Select the book. Oh, before we do this, though, I have to go add if the room fits to this. Fudge, forgot that. So what we need to do is add a new book. Um, book label, we're just going to put if the room fits. Book type, it's called an advanced copy. We'll come back and fix this later once it's not an advanced copy, but for now it is. If the broom fits by Sarah Sutton. No series. I do have an ASIN, so let's go see if we can find it. If the broom fits. There we go. The ASIN is right here. Let's copy. Let's go over here. Paste. The book's tagline is... How do you move on from someone you never fell out of love with? 
um, the book's description. Let's go get that from our upload notes right here. Awesome. So I have this whole section that is just my upload notes. Um, it's for me to quickly grab things. I need to fill this out. I haven't done that yet. But it's just for me to quickly grab. So we're going to come here. I'm going to copy and paste this. My blurb. Paste it. This needs to be bold and italic. Actually, let's delete these like massive breaks, shall we? Now the files, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up my finder. We're gonna do the self-publishing. I have a whole file just for self-publishing. I have a lot of um, sheets here too, but we're not gonna look at those. We're gonna look at the If The Room Fits, um, this one. And then from here, we're gonna take the Apple, we're gonna just, we need a JPEG as well. We're gonna take the JPEG. We're gonna take the Apple EPUB. We're gonna go back and we're gonna find the Kindle Moby file. We're gonna go back and we're going to find the PDF. So we have all of our files uploaded. We have the cover, we have the EPUB, Moby, and PDF. We're gonna save this book. Saved book, yay. Go back to our certified mail and redo this. So if the broom fits arc in the future, um, we're gonna send on the 21st at 9 a.m. We're gonna send if the broom fits arc. And this is where you would put the email addresses. I'm not gonna put those in here just yet because um, privacy reasons. <laughs> but we're gonna come down here and this is the mail subjects. This is what they're gonna get. So it says campaign, here's your copy, review copy of if the broom fits. If the broom fits is ready for you to review. But this is what it's going to say. This is a private link that you can download only, blah, 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 blah. Let's actually make this in italics. Um, so I'll usually say something like, uh, thank you so much for signing up to be on my ARC team. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts. Oops, <laughs> thoughts about this Halloween romance. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And then let's do this in bold. Bold. Oops, I forgot the L. <laughs> bold. And let's say point me to it. And then we'll delete that. And that's going to have my name there. I want to send a follow-up when readers can review so that's going to be on the release day so october 6th and we're going to send that let's send this one earlier let's send this one at 7 a.m um it's time to review hey everyone it's release day I'll probably come back and bulk this up a little bit because I would like to have this be a little bit more personal um, and excited, but when, probably when it gets closer. Also, we can update the landing page. So this is what it looks like now. Looks all right. It's all right, you know, but I would think I would love to see if, that's, if I can get this in a different color. So we want, ooh, what's solid black look like? Mmm. I don't think I dig that. Hmm. What about black and gray? Hmm, not sure if I dig it still. But let's see. Ooh, we can have a default, a default color of orange. Yes, now let's look. <gasps> Ooh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do the black or should I do the white? I think the black with the orange looks awesome. I wasn't sure. Um, how about, okay, so for the button text, Get my copy, get my book. Um, I think download now would probably be better. Download if the room fits. Download your copy of you have X amount of days. So now let's look at it again. Let's go to the computer screen. Oh, love it. Yeah, okay. I wasn't too sold by the black and the gray, but I think the black and the I think the gray helps accent the black, which if it was just black would look a little strange. But looks nice, looks nice. That's what that would look like. And you guys, that is how you do an ARC campaign on Book Funnel. You would save draft, or if you're ready to send it, you would say, I'm really ready. And then you would say, schedule campaign. But I want to come back and edit my reminder. So right now, I'm just going to say, save as draft. 
And there you have it. That is how I use BookFunnel to distribute my art copies and send books and do my short stories and all that fun stuff. I hope you guys found it a little bit interesting and a little bit helpful. I think it could be helpful in the case you are looking to distribute ARCs in a little bit safer way rather than emailing them to people. You definitely can do that, but for me, I was a little bit freaked out about emailing my book to somebody who could distribute it to many people. So if you are like me and a paranoid freak, BookFunnel definitely helps with keeping my nerves down in this department. And I forgot to mention in the video, it does tell you when, if you say you sent this book to somebody on your email list, you sent this book to John Smith. You will be able to see when John Smith viewed the um, book and when he downloaded it. So if you, you you can see that he viewed it but didn't download it, or he viewed it and downloaded it. So you get that kind of... What is that word I'm looking for? It's, is it statistic? So you get that number and, and you're able to keep track of it that way as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Uh, likes and comments help me so much in the YouTube algorithm. And you guys, at the time that I'm filming this, we are getting so, so close to 100, subs 100 subscribers. We're getting so, so close to 1,000 subscribers, which blows my mind. If we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm definitely going to be doing a giveaway of massive epic proportions. That was a very big... <laughs> Uh, promise, but I will make sure to try to come through on it. <laughs> but we'll definitely do something fun in celebration for 1,000 subscribers for Flippin' Shore. Oh my gosh, we're getting so close and it blows my mind. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget to subscribe and tap that bell notification if you want to be notified every time that I upload. And uh, for the comment of the day, what book are you reading right now? Right now, I'm not reading any books. I have a few ARC copies I need to get my hands on. I have been in such a reading rut lately, and I think it has to do with my writing. If you want to know why I'm struggling with my writing, go check out my vlogs, because in my vlogs, I talk all about my struggles. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. It was fun to film. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye and everything. I'm gonna be going over a oh, fudge. This is always on backwards. I can't believe myself. Mother trucker. Alright, well, let's do this again. Oh, I, I loved that intro too.